Well, Zeebs, thanks for your time, mate. Um, how's the knee rehab going? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, a little bit disappointing having to have it done, obviously, but I suppose there's some things you can't control and um, it's coming along really well and I think tomorrow I'll be back into full training, which is exciting. So that's full-on drills, everything, no holds barred? Yeah, oh, just no contact um, for the first couple of main sessions back, but um, I think be probably next week, hopefully, I'll be, I'll be right into everything. So um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, to get back into full training, back around the boys and rehab's a lonely place at the minute because there's not many other people in there which is a good thing for us and uh, and hopefully it stays that way as well. So you've been back running a little bit and obviously the concern is you're dropping off in your fitness levels um, after Utah having a small um, procedure. How have you found your fitness? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I started running two weeks ago, oh, around about two weeks ago um, and probably end of last week I started really testing my fitness out and, and the times I was running wasn't too far away from, from what I was doing before so um, I was in fairly good condition before before my operation which is I think has held me in really good stead um, to be able to um, do my rehab um, and also come back in not bad shape as well. And what about the actual knee itself is there any pain there at the moment any soreness or are you 100% good? No nah, it's been really really good um, it's coped really well with the, the step up in loads um, and I think that um, the feeling I have now running is 100% is better than what I had pre-op so I'm, I'm quite happy I got it done and um, it's, uh, it's coming along really well and as I said before it's, it's really exciting for me to get back out there. Being on the sidelines you've obviously had time to watch um, some of the progression as some the guys there's been a lot of talk about Ben Cunnington at the moment have you seen his progression he's had a really really strong pre-season which is uh which is pleasing for Ben and, and all the other midfielders as well and um and for all North Melbourne fans as well so um he's at training he's very hard to touch uh, he's got a very nice sidestep and he, he's growing in confidence every session um which is really pleasing to see considering he had um such a good um second half of the year second half of the year last year um and and to be able to put that into a pre-season and, and, and run his best times. I think he's run in his pre-season and as well as uh, competing really well in, in all the competitive stuff and that's what he's, he's born to do and uh, really looking forward to seeing him in the NAB Cup and, and round one. There's rumours that he's been working on the fend-off and he's uh, close to mastering the fend-off. He's quite hard to tackle, yes. He's got big shoulders <laughs> and he can uh, be quite slippery as well. But he's, uh, as I said before, his sidestep and, and his evasiveness in close and around traffic is probably up there in the best in the competition. So um, that's his real strength. He's able to put people in time and space. Um, and it's, it's, he's doing it really well at the minute and, and it's very exciting for everyone to see. Another guy that uh, has been going really well, Robbie Tarrant. Yeah, big Taz. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a monster of a man at the minute. Um, he's really, really strong and he's, he's really, really fit as well and uh, moves around the, the track with a lot of confidence. Um, and he's a bit like Hunters in a way that last year was sort of a bit of a breakout year. Um, he grew in confidence uh, throughout each game and, and I think that he's brought that into this pre-season right from the very start and each session he goes out onto the track, um, he just monsters his defenders and, and his work rate is second and none as well and hits up hard and, and takes some really good marks. So um, it's going to be really exciting um, watching him in the pre-season as well as in coming into round one and, and see what he can get up to. The uh, intra-club match is coming up on Tuesday in, in Ballarat. How do the guys approach a game like that? It's a difficult one. I mean, everyone's jumping into their skin to be able to, to get out there and play. Um, but at the same time, you are playing against your teammates and um, nobody really wants to get hurt in, a, in an intra club where it sort of doesn't count for much. But in saying that, it is a full, full fledged game and, um, and no one shirks it and everyone goes in pretty hard. And, um, and I think that's the exciting part about the pre season is uh, you do all this tra training and hard work, and, and the intra club against your mates is, is the first opportunity you get to put all the work you've done over the pre season into action. And I think uh, all the boys are really excited for it, um, and hopefully, no one gets injured and, and hopefully um, it holds us in good stead for the round one and Ape Cup. You've been in the system a little while now. Um, what are your expectations on a personal level? This year? Um, I'd just like to keep improving. Um, last year was a little bit inconsistent on my behalf. I, I thought that um, some games I was, was okay and then other games I drop off a little bit, which is a little bit frustrating. So um, this year, my one of my main focuses is just to be really consistent week in, week out um, and to be able to spend a bit more time on the ground as well. Um, I've sort of been working towards that over the last four to five years and if I can do those two things and um, hopefully um, that can help to the team's success. Knee issue aside, have you been running um, 
PBs and, and pushing bigger weights in the gym and all that sort of stuff as well? Yeah, I suppose every footballer says this every year, but um, it's the best I've felt since I've been at the club and um, running as well as I have before and, and lifting weights as heavy as I have before as well. So, um, I mean, it, it all counts for nothing unless you put it into practice in round one. So um, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to get out there and um, sooner rather than later and, and piss pre-season off because it's it's a bit hard for me <laughs> and a bit hard for everyone else. So it be exciting to get out there and, and start playing footy.